Hey there guys, I'm Sonic Ghost and welcome back to some more Let's Play Banjo-Tooie. Last time we finished up everything we can do in Witchy World for now. And in this episode, we're back here in Spiral Mountain as we have ourselves enough Cheeto pages to go ahead and unlock a new cheat in the game. So, let's go ahead and enter Grunty's old lair here and pay our good old friend Cheeto a visit. Great, you got enough pages for me to tell you a new secret sheet. About time, spill the beans. Hand over my precious pages first. Much obliged. My second sheet is eggs, got it. Well, that's all the cheats I can give you for now. If you find any more pages, you know where to find me. So this cheat code here is very similar to the feathers cheat that Cheeto taught us last time. The X cheat will allow us to carry double the amount of eggs in the game. And out of all the cheat codes, this is probably my favorite one, simply because of just how useful it is. There's a lot of different egg types in this game that really only let you carry a very small, finite amount. So for example, the grenade eggs, we can only carry a maximum of 25. Using the X cheat, we'll be able to carry a maximum of 50 now. So this makes things a lot easier on the player as you don't have to go out of your way as often just to get eggs. And how often you use eggs in Banjo-Tooie, this is why I really like this cheat code. So we'll definitely be getting a lot of use out of it and we'll be activating the cheat here shortly. But for now, we're back here in Jiggy Wiki's temple as we have ourselves another puzzle to solve to unlock World 4. So let's go ahead and take on Jiggy Wiki's challenge number four. And if you want to be honest, out of all the challenges that Jiggy Wiggy has, this one is one of the hardest ones to really make out what's going on in the background. This is a very dark area that Banjo is exploring around in. From the looks of things, this seems to be some kind of cave, but it doesn't really give you that good of an idea what to expect in World 4. But we solved the challenge, so now Jiggy Wiki will open the way to World 4, and we can see what the world is all about for ourselves. We may be unlocking the way to World 4 right now, but we're not going to be going there for quite some time. And that's simply because I got a couple things I need to go ahead and do here in the Isle of Hags before we move on to our next world in the game. So this here is a new area of the Isle of Hags we haven't explored yet, the Cliff Tops. We'll be here shortly, but for now, Jiggy Wiggy is opening the way to the lagoon. And from the sounds of things with that sign, World 4 could be a water world. If you want to be honest, the sign tells you more about the world than the actual puzzle did, so that's very interesting to know. But at this point, we have more than enough Jiggies to go ahead and solve our next challenge here and open the way to World 5. But at this point in the playthrough, we're going to just start unlocking worlds one at a time, simply because I want to go ahead and keep the pace moving along. I don't just want to be here for one episode solving three puzzles in a row to open three worlds in a row. So we're going to just go ahead and solve one puzzle at a time for now, unlocking one world at a time. But I want to go ahead and mention something here. Jiggy Wiki is standing pretty far away from this wall on his pedestal here. And as you can see, the wall scroll behind him extends down further than the other two. There's a reason for this. Behind this wall scroll is actually a secret cutout here that will lead to the back of Jiggy Wiggy's temple. And we got ourselves three signs here to read. Have you looked on the roof of the Red Jinjo house? This sign is probably the least helpful out of the three here, and that's simply because this one is pointing towards the treble clef that you can go ahead and get in the Owl Hags. But this is not really that hard of a treble clef to get. You'll easily be able to see this one in Jinjo Village. And we already have it, so for us, that sign isn't helpful at all anymore. Witchy world is where fortune may smile upon you. This sign's here very interesting because it hints towards another thing we can go ahead and get from Witchy World. This thing here doesn't actually count towards 100%, so you don't actually need to get this said thing in Witchy World to get all of the items in the game, but it's definitely something we'll be taking a look at here in just a bit. An egg container followed by jiggling? This sign here is very, very interesting because this actually points towards one of the secret cheat codes in Banjo-Tooie. Now, 
there are two sets of cheats that we can go ahead and use in Banjo-Tooie. There are cheats that we can go ahead and get from Cheeto, and then there are secret cheat codes that the game does not give you at all. That sign hints towards one of those secret cheats. There are two key words in that sign message, egg and jiggling, because both of those point towards two specific words, nest and king. Put those two words together and you got yourself the secret cheat, Nest King. If you enter Nest King into the code chamber, you'll have an infinite supply of feathers and eggs to use in the game. It's a really helpful yet really broken cheat, and we're not going to be using that cheat code here in Banjo-Tooie simply because, well for starters, it's game breaking, so we're not going to be wanting to break the game this early on, but the cheat code in the Xbox Live version disables saving and achievements, so if you're wanting to save your progress in the XBLA version, don't use these secret cheats. They're not really all that helpful, if you want to be honest. Not compared to saving. But back here in Witchy World, we were told that there's something that fortune may smile upon us. And that sign was actually hinting towards the fortune telling tent here. We already went over what the fortune telling tent does when we explored Witchy World. But in short, this tent can go ahead and give you a couple different things. Grunty can refill your energy bar, she can go ahead and give you feathers, she can go ahead and give you egg refills, and she can go ahead and give you a beating. In fact, the chances of you getting a beating are up to 40%. So, more often than not, you're just going to get beat up from this tent. But, there's one very specific thing we want here, and it's not any of the things I've already mentioned. There is actually a secret cheat code that is located inside of this tent. Now, this cheat code has a 1 in 500 chance to show up in the game. It's a really, really hard cheat to get. But when Grunty is feeling nice one day, she will give you the Get Jiggy Cheat, the only cheat code in the game that you unlock outside of getting the Cheeto pages. This is a very interesting way to get this cheat, and it's really useful if you're playing the N64 version in particular of Banjo-Tooie. So we're back here in the code chamber in World 1, and it's time for us to enter those cheat codes that we learned. So first things first, let's go ahead and enter the X cheat that we learned from Cheeto. As mentioned earlier, the X cheat will double the amount of eggs that you can carry in total in Banjo-Tooie. This is a very useful cheat, and we're definitely going to want to be using that, but... Now it's time for us to go ahead and enter the second cheat we learn from Witchy World, Get Jiggy. This is a really useful cheat if you're playing on the N64 version of Banjo-Tooie, but here in the Xbox Live version, this cheat isn't really as helpful. The Get Jiggy cheat will activate all the signposts in Jiggy Wiki's temple. And doing this, now we can go ahead and read hints as to where all the Jiggies are in every world in Banjo-Tooie. The reason why this cheat is not really that helpful in the Xbox Live version of Banjo-Tooie is that this cheat code just basically got added into the game by default with the Jiggy Tip system here. The Jiggy Tip system basically replaces the Get Jiggy cheat in my opinion, because this isn't just the same thing as the cheat, but it's also better, because this menu will actually tell you all the hints in every world so you don't have to leave the world go back to Jiggy Wiggy's place, write all the hints down somewhere, and then just cross them off as you go. This menu tells you if you get the Jiggy per hint, which makes things a lot easier and it's a really helpful checklist. So, that extra menu in the XBLA version just makes the Get Jiggy cheat not nearly as rewarding to get from Witchy World anymore, which is sad because of how hard it is to get that cheat code in this game. It is so rare for you to actually get the Get Jiggy cheat on your playthrough. You may have to grind for that cheat in order for it to show up. In fact, I had to sit there in Witchy World going in and out Grunty's tent for about an hour to get that dang cheat to show up in this playthrough. It was not fun, and I really didn't need to get the cheat in this version because it's basically here by default the second we start the game. But, since I want to show off everything I can in the game, I had to suffer through that. But, again, this is a very useful cheat in the N64 version because the Jiggy Tip system did not exist in the N64 version. 
So this cheat code was really your only hint system in that game. It was your only way of really knowing where to get certain jiggies or how to get certain jiggies in each world. But before we leave this area, we're just going to go ahead and clean up a little bit as we need to get one more jiggy here in the prison compound. And as you've seen, we just have to hit all these pillars in a specific way. And doing so, this jiggy will fall down from the highest pillar down to the lowest. So there you go. Got ourselves the jiggy. And now that's all the jiggies here in my hand temple. So now this world is 100% complete. You do have a timer there, so you definitely have to do that fast, but... They give you more than enough time to get the Jiggy, so it's really not that big of a deal. We did need the Bill Drill for that, so we couldn't have gotten that on the first visit. So, now that we're back here entering cheat codes, it's the perfect time to get it. But now, coming back into this jail cell here, with the Bill Drill ability, we can go ahead and free this little mole, and bring it back to World 2. Eek! Thanks very much for unblocking my passage! It's worth a Jiggy! Hand it over, you plague-written pest! Eek! You have to come and see my master Bill about that. So unfortunately we don't get the Jiggy right away because this is associated the world too, but just follow the mole back and now we're back in the prospector's hunt and let's go ahead and talk to our friend here. My ruin partner Dilberta is still missing. Funny you should say that. We had our look around and managed to find her. There she is now. Hi, honey. I'm home. Doberta, is that really you? I'm so happy you found my Doberta. Take this pretty little gold nugget as a reward. There you go. Got ourselves another Jiggy. That was two easy Jiggies right in a row. So, that's that. Now let's go ahead and check our totals here. And let's go ahead and make sure we got both Jiggies that we have. Yep, there you go, 9 out of 10 here. And the one we have in this world we can't get for quite some time. And now as you see, my hand temple is 100% complete. So, that's that. Now let's make our way out of here, because there's nothing else we really need to do in Glitter Gulch Mine for now. So, let's go ahead and leave this area. Hey cowboy, give me your health. Thank you. The other Jiggy we have here, again, we can't get that for quite some time because we are still missing the necessary power in order to actually unlock the way to get to the Jiggy, so it's still out of reach for us, unfortunately. But let's go ahead and make our way back over the Jiggy Wiki's temple because we use that Get Jiggy cheat, so we can go ahead and actually read his signs, and I want to go ahead and show off just how exactly this cheat works. As mentioned, in the XBLA version, this is not very helpful at all, but if you're playing the N64 version, this cheat is very useful. So, let's go ahead and enter back in, and let's go ahead and read one of his signs. Now we can go ahead and do so. Behold the Jiggy Secrets of My Hen Temple. And at this point, Jiggy Wiggy is just going to list off every single Jiggy here. And I recommend if you're playing the N64 version and you're using this cheat code, Write all these down somewhere, because you won't be able to come back to Jiggy Wiggy's temple all that often. So, definitely write these down to make this a lot easier on yourself, because coming back here all the time is not only a pain, but if you don't have enough Jiggies to get back in here, you can't read these hints. So that doesn't help at all. Luckily for us, we have more than enough Jiggies, so this place is going to stay open for quite some time. But we don't need to use those signs, because... We can just do that by pausing the game, and that's the really helpful part. But at this point, we pretty much done everything we can go ahead and do with those cheat codes, and we went ahead and explored some extra worlds, so I'm going to go ahead and end the episode on that note. So, next time on Let's Play Banjo-Tooie, there's still some more exploring we want to go ahead and do in the Isle Hags, so we're going to keep on exploring the overworld here and see what other things we can go ahead and interact with. I'll see you guys next time.